In addition to U.S. meat, the issue of Japanese beef and beef products has also resurfaced. More than a decade and a half after macaw disease prompted widespread import bans, many markets are now reopening their doors to Japanese beef. For example, the European, Brazil and Myanmar have resumed imports, with Taiwan expected to follow suit and Australia as soon as this year. Over time, Taiwan has lifted the bans on Paraguay, New Zealand, Australia and Canada and the United States and decided in principle to lift the ban on the beef imported from Japan as early as September with some conditions. For example, Japanese beef and beef products exported to Taiwan must come from cattle less than 30 months, which are considered to pose less risk of macaw disease. And the cattle have to be slaughtered or processed at government certified facilities with risky parts of the cow removed, among other conditions. However, the potential lifting the ban coincided with a confirmed case of macaw disease in the United States, which prompted the discussion about food safety issues and many have criticized the government's response as slow or even lack of action. According to most of the international organizations, do nothing is actually one of the options as a part of the manage, uh, risk management process. Uh, the reason being, uh, even though there's a separate case happening in the U.S., doesn't mean a country have to respond to that directly. So what I'm referring to do nothing doesn't mean really do nothing, but uh, rather countries should uh, uh, elevate their observation or their awareness of this uh, 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 BSC condition in the U.S. But uh, countries should refrain from take uh, uh, stringent or restrictive actions at this stage because the condition in the U.S. is, is still unclear. For now, 94% of Taiwan's beef is imported and mostly from the United States. Last year, the U.S. was Taiwan's number one beef supplier by weight and value, followed by Australia and New Zealand. By comparison, Taiwan imported a minuscule amount of beef and beef products from Japan even before the ban was implemented. Four tons in year 2000, which is only 0.01% of the total amount imported by Taiwan that year. On the other hand, beef was Japan's top export in the agricultural and livestock category last year at 13.6 billion yen or 121 million US dollars. And the meat is expected to play a key role in achieving the government's goal of boosting exports of agricultural and fisheries products to 1 trillion yen in 2019. But meat imports and exports are often the center of controversy as it never just involves business or economy. Talks on beef have taken on the political dimension. If we cannot uh, uh, resist the U.S. Uh, beef, uh, we cannot uh, set ban for Japanese beef. Uh, the, the reason we cannot uh, uh, we cannot import the Japanese uh, seafood because uh, uh, because this this seafood uh, are produced uh, in the. Uh, you know, in, in, in a Japanese county, uh, which, uh, was, uh, uh, which was harmed by the nuclear disaster. Uh, but uh, we, we, uh, if uh, the beef uh, is not from the same county, I think uh, there is no reason for us to resist uh, uh, Japanese uh, beef uh, uh, export. A further expansion of the Japanese beef market will depend partly on diplomacy. China and South Korea look unlikely to simply drop their bans, while Seoul has not even discussed the possibility despite requests from Tokyo. Maybe that's why Japanese exporters are particularly keen to regain access to Taiwan, where consumers are accustomed to Japanese flavors, and low shipping cost is another plus, thanks to the island's proximity to Japan which has raised concerns about the impact of the domestic cattle industry. But the relevant authority said the opening would not affect Taiwan's local market because the market segments are different. If there is any effect, beef imported from Japan is to be supplementary to the nation's beef industry rather than dealing a blow to it. That is the indication why the 
uh, importation of foreign beef is, is creating less sensitive issues among uh, beef farming in Taiwan. Because first of all, uh, Taiwan's beef is a very unique category of products. It is a warm body beef, uh, it is fresh, and it tastes differently from frozen imported beef. And, and secondly, because the supply is so small, uh, it becomes very, uh, very uh, expensive and, and very difficult to, for uh, normal consumers to buy. So uh, they are not subject to competition, basically, from imported beef. So the, the lifting of the ban uh, of uh, beef from Japan or other countries uh, creates less direct impact on the domestic beef farming industry. For Japan, the end of import bans does not necessarily mean smooth selling in newly opened markets. The export process can be pretty complicated, and such markets as Taiwan may impose stringent safety requirements. Hyogo Prefecture, home of famous Kobe beef, has no processing facilities nearby that meet strict European and American standards. In the meantime, the government should make efforts to monitor the safety of imported food, including be it U.S. beef or Japanese beef, as well as to help improve the quality of the nation's self-sufficiency in beef production, which stands at 6% for now.